What is this? It looks like Jungle Cruise. Yes. It is a radio-controlled Jungle Cruise boat miniaturized for the Disneyland Hotel. I was a Jungle Cruise skipper working the ride at Disneyland, and when they took the radio-controlled traction out, I bought one, and here it is. I'm at the pawn shop today because I want to sell my radio-controlled Jungle Cruise boat from the Disneyland Hotel. If I can sell the boat today, I'm going to go on an actual cruise down the Amazon or maybe even to the Bahamas. Walt Disney wanted to make Disneyland way different, and the Jungle Cruise was one of his really signature rides. I mean, so... Yeah, it's one of the original attractions. Took up a fifth of Disneyland when it opened. And this is still one of the most popular rides in Disneyland. You start on the Irrawaddy River. From the Irrawaddy River, you go to the Nile. Then it has like a cool little waterfall in there. You like, eh, you come up on it, and then you dodge it. Then you go around and you drive under it. It's called Schweitzer Falls, and it's named after Dr. Albert Falls. Dr. Albert Falls? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so does this thing work? Yes, absolutely. There's only two that work in the world, and this is one of them. How much you want for it? A lot of them have been sold in the $4,000 range, but those don't work, and they're not nearly as beautiful as this one. So I was gonna ask 5,500 because it works. Okay, I have a buddy and he's all things Disney. Okay. I'm gonna give him a call and have him take a look at it. Um, I absolutely love this thing. I'll be right back. This was like the big deal. Back in the day at the Disneyland Hotel, this was really the only form of entertainment after you left the park. And so everybody would congregate to this and you would actually be the skipper of the Jungle Cruise. I mean, there was, Nothing better than this. This is actually kind of amazing here because these were basically bumper cars. Do they have like different people in them? They did. All of these figures were hand painted to make them look realistic. And I'm kind of surprised that this one actually has as many people in it as it does. It was amazing that they survived like this. This is probably the most complete one I've actually seen. Okay, so is this like legitimately one of them? I actually happened to be at the facilities when these were retired. And this is it. Sadly, they decommissioned these and took out all the electronics and interior pieces and used them for other boats that they also operated. So they took all the guts out of them? They took all the guts out of them and none of them worked anymore. Only a couple of these that I know of have been made to run again, and it's not a real easy process. Okay, he says it runs, so I guess, is it all right if you replace the guts in them? If it was done properly, it adds to the value dramatically. People love the idea of being able to run it again. I want to know if this thing will float on water. Can we do that? Absolutely. I'd love to see if it runs. Where's a pool around here that we can go to? And the D Hotel, and they got good food. We can hit lunch afterwards. Okay, let's go down the D. I'll meet you down there. We'll go to the pool, and we'll eat afterwards. How's that? Perfect. I hope you brought your slim chunks. You want a chili dog? I got two. Yes or no? Do you have that outfit in your car or something? You never know when you might need your bedding shoe, I don't even... Let's throw it in the water. Let's try it. Let's give it a whirl. Hello, folks. I'm your tour guide today. My name is Chum Lee. Please remember to keep your hands in the boat. We are approaching croc territory, and they do like a handout. <laughs> That's an old one. OK, as far as I see, all the controllers are working. It's going left and right. Rudder seems good. Is that full speed? This uh, is full speed. Go, baby. Look how good this thing works. Yeah, runs good. All right, so it obviously works and everything like that. So um, what's it worth? You know, you're talking seven grand. Easy. So you're saying it's worth seven grand? I would absolutely say this is worth seven grand for sure. <sighs> All right, well, thanks, man. Right, You'll thanks, be fine man. with that. All right. All right. 7,000 was a very fair price. No, I'll give you four grand for it. Four grand? Yeah. He said 7,000. I'm offering it for 55. That's $1,500 less. I'll tell you what I can do. 4,200, and that's going to be my final offer. I don't have a lot of wiggle room here. Give me a little wiggle room up. You're a great what? Jungle Cruise skipper. This is I will give you 4,200 bucks, and that's all I can give you. And put that thing down. 43.5? I will go to the 4,300 bucks. That's all I can do. Shake on that, 4,300. We have a deal. Thank you for riding the cruise today. Don't come back anytime soon. I bought the boat. I'll make money off it. All in all, it's been a great day, except for Chump. You grab that, come back to the shop, and change. Got it? I'll see you back at the shop, man. You forgot your chili dog. 
wow. This thing is nice. This is a cash me out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.